For the last 40 years, science fiction movies have been showing a future filled with holograms. And I think a lot of people want to know how much of this is real? How much of this can we actually do today? Well, for all computer-generated holograms, you need to have some sort of glasses, and only one person can see them at a time. If I look at the front, and you look at the back of a hologram, then the computer doesn't know which view to make for which person. So part of the reason why you're not seeing them around is they're not very useful when only one person can use them. To get around this problem, billions of dollars was invested into virtual reality and augmented reality helmets. Because these helmets actually put screens over your eyes, now lots of people can stand around an ordinary wooden table and all see the same thing, so they can do planning of events or new products. So, problem solved. Well, for some people it was, but not for everybody. You see, the media tells us that we all must love virtual reality, but um, not everybody does. You see, your eyes can't focus on things that are too close to your head. And so virtual reality helmets have to stick out quite far. It's so because of this, some of them are quite big. And to stop them from falling off your head, they have to have a great big strap around the back. And some of them have great big straps over the top as well. There are about 59 different brands of virtual reality helmet and augmented reality helmet coming out soon. Our company builds some of the world's most powerful graphics engine technology. And we were asked by some of the virtual reality companies to help give virtual reality better graphics. We decided we would help them with this if we could find any business where people really do like wearing virtual reality helmets as they all do their planning together. Now I'm sure there must be some somewhere, but we couldn't find any. We're told that virtual reality and augmented reality is the future for humanity, but I'm not sure that putting screens over our eyes really is the best way forward. There are other ways. This is Euclidean's hologram table. The computer makes these 3D objects out of light and can project them up to 60 centimeters high. They can also sink down into the table about a meter. The computer makes these by coordinating little theoretical atoms of light. It does this with trillions of them and works out their position in relation to your view. We've also solved the problem of only one person being able to see a computer tracked hologram. So now people can discuss and plan together we spoke with a lot of businesses about what they really wanted. Some are going to use a hologram table to understand designs before they're built. Others will use it to sell real estate off the plan, like used to be done with small plastic building models. Rather than a helmet with screens over your eyes, we use small slip-on sunglasses. We've teamed up with some of the best companies that make 3D models of entire cities, so you can get accurate 3D city models straight from your table. Running models of whole cities or even whole countries uses up a huge amount of computer processing power, but that's not going to be a problem. The table is one of the most powerful 3D graphics processing devices on Earth. A few years ago, we showed a video of the world's most powerful 3D graphics algorithm that runs it. To prove its power, we made an island that was one kilometer square, where every leaf, twig and blade of grass was made of real geometry. We made the island at a rate of 64 atoms per cubic millimeter. If you're not sure how big that is, that's about 1 million atoms per cubic inch. If you're still not sure how big that is, these are grains of dirt. A terabyte is a thousand gigabytes. The hologram table can run terabytes of data as easily as your home computer can run gigabytes. So the hologram table can even run scans of entire countries. A lot of people have been waiting a very long time to see technology like this finally become real. For example, in computer games, Namco originally made the game Pac-Man, and then many of the world's top arcade games after that. The head of global business development from Namco came and had a look at our technology, and after seeing it, he was so impressed that he left Namco and joined us to open up a chain of hologram computer game arcades all over the world. We're calling this chain Holoverse. So in the next few years, you're going to see places where you can go and play hologram games on holographic tables and even full hologram rooms. So that's our yearly update for those who have been following our progress. Thank you everybody for listening to the video today.